Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daggett. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a modern Japanese tattoo style uh, peony rose. It's going to be a fun one, so grab your pens, pencils, and coloring implements and join me at the overhead. Let's go. Okay guys, we're back at the table and like I said, today we're drawing a uh, Japanese peony flower. We're working with Febriano hot press watercolor paper as usual and we're starting off with a mechanical pencil. Again, you can uh, use any lead pencil that you've got or just anything you're comfortable sketching with will work fine. So for this one, we're going to start off with circles. Uh, it seems like I always start my videos off with circles, my tutorials. Um, that would be basically because most organic shapes have circles in them and are easier to draw using circles. Uh, we're doing a small circle. This will be the center of your flower, so depending on where you want this to be. Outside of this, you're going to do a larger circle. These don't have to be perfect either. And then outside of that, you're going to do another slightly larger circle. And these circles will just act as a guideline for all of our petals. It looks a little bit like a target. Okay, so starting off in the middle circle here, you're going to pick the direction that you want your flower to be facing, uh, or what, what direction you want your flower to be opening in. I uh, want mine to be facing in this direction. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start laying in the foundation for some uh, petals. So we're going to put a curve in like that, bring it all the way around and maybe drop another curve in to there. That'll be one petal. Might do another one coming from here. We'll just join that up to the rest of the circle like that. And there'll be another petal here. And I guess here. And these, these two will be a bit smaller. We're seeing a little bit less of them because they are in the uh, opposite to the viewing direction. So we're viewing the flower, I guess, from this angle here. And these are facing a little bit away from us. So, and we're just going to do a little semicircle shape on the inside of the flower for now. Doing the next layer of petals on the outside area here, we're going to come in and start a curve. It's going to start from here, go down to about the line where we started the circle, and then come back up like that. All right. Now starting from about midway down the curve, you can bring another curve out that's going to follow the shape of the circle roughly and curve outward towards the end and we can do a, a similar thing on the other side and then we'll throw in some really rough shapes of the petals so we're just going to drop in a little curve here semicircle sort of shape another little curve and you're basically just doing these curves all the way along depending on how you like them. If this is a bit of a style preference thing, so you can make them as bubbly as you want, as big as you want, as small as you want. You can add little fancy loops into them like this. It just depends how you want it to look. And keep in mind that a flower is a very organic shape, so you can really play around with it and stylize it to your liking. Also, I'd like to point out, this is just the sketching phase, so of course, you can make changes a little bit later on when you're inking. That's something that I'll do quite often is I'll sketch things out roughly how I want them to be. And then I'll go in and make changes when I start to ink the whole thing. Add a, a petal to the inside layer here. Using the same format we did for the outside here. We're just going to come in, throw in a little curve and go to town with these little bumps. Now to join this petal back up into the flower, we're going to start at the end of the curve here, the tail bit. Do a little curve like that. A 
bigger curve and then a little curve. So you can see that this is the outside of a pedal and this is the inside area of the pedal. So all of the pedals are basically going to follow a very, very similar structure. Of course, like I said, you can change them to sort of stylize them a little bit, but they're all going to have a very similar foundation. So for this one, we'll bring the curved line out like that. Now for the pedal that sits here, what we're going to do is bring a line out. and drawing the pedal as if it's laying flat and open. And then you're going to want to finish these pedals by joining them back in. So we're doing the same thing we did in this area to the ends of the little pedals on the side here. Again, this is a style thing, so you're just going to go in and make these pedals look exactly how you want them to. Okay, just like that. For the little center part, I'm going to do a circle or a half circle that comes out just past where the pedals are. Let me do like a little center area like this. And I'm going to do lines curving into the center all the way around. Okay, now for this outer layer of petals, we're going to use the large circle as our reference point. I'm going to start in the middle of the, uh, the last petal, the last big petal that we drew here. And I'm going to come out with a curved line. Just like this. It's going to curve out a little bit, just like we do on the ends of these pedals. And then you can go in and draw your small circle bits. And join them back up. From here, you're just going to flesh out a really nice big pedal. Something I like to do, which I'll demonstrate here is sometimes I'll add these little fold over bits into the pedals and they just add a little bit more character to them and they let you move the pedals in a different direction if you want to change the way that the pedals are moving. So what you do is you, you finish your, your curve, you bring a pretty sharp curve back towards it, just like this, and you draw a couple of lumps and join them back in. And from there, you start to continue the pedal pattern. So from here, it looks like uh, this piece is folded over and then we can continue into the rest of the pedal. And like I said, this just makes the pedals look a little bit more dynamic, gives them a bit more shape and lets you move them around in a different way. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, starting from the middle here. We're going to come out, start a pedal like this and then go around and complete that side of the pedal. To do some of the pedals in the front, you're basically gonna follow the same pattern, but just remember these pedals will be seeing a little bit more of the inside and less of the outside of the pedal because of the angle that we're viewing it from. So I'll give you one demonstration here and then we'll go through and start inking. So maybe starting from here, We're going to draw in an open pedal shape. Just a little bit of a curve on the, on the start there, a bit of a fold. And then mostly open. So I'm going to go around here, finish off the last few pedals, and then we'll jump into inking this thing. Okay, you guys have seen me ink many, many times. I'm going to be using these Artline uh, fine liners. This is a 0.5. I'll also be using a 0.8.
and a 0 0.3 for some of the finer details. Um, you guys know the way that I ink. I go through with a 5 and do most of it and then go back in with an 8 to boost up some lines and make them a bit fatter. And then I'll go back in with a smaller liner if I feel like I need to add a little bit more detail. So probably for the center of the flower. And I might add some lines to the petals as well. But we'll go through that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through and ink this and I'll see you in the next part. Okay, so we got this thing inked. I used the 0.8 for most of the petals around the back here because they're the closest to the viewer. And I used the 0.5 for pretty much everything else. All of the little overlapped parts of the petals, I used the 0.8 because I want it to look a little bit more 3D. It gives it a little bit more depth. And I used a 0.3 for all of the small lines on the inside here. Now, I'm gonna go through and show you quickly how to do the small lines in the petals using the 0.3 or whatever is the thinnest uh, liner that you've got available to you. Um, and you're gonna go in and I'll start with this petal here. Basically what we're gonna do is choose a sort of central point for that petal to start at. So the petal would start down here and it opens out this way, okay? And starting from roughly where that point will be, you're just gonna draw in some small quick lines in the general direction of the uh, opening of the petal, if that makes sense. I'll demonstrate it again. Uh, this time we'll use the petal towards the back here because this petal's curved in a certain way. To give it a little bit more of an illusion of being curved, you can come in and curve your lines. So they will look something like that. Okay guys, all those small lines are in and finished. We're now going to go through and start coloring this guy. So there is a lot of different ways you can color a peony. Um, the way we're doing it today is really stylized. It's not realistic at all, but it's one of my favorite ways to do it because I find it tends to look really bold and just really brilliant. So we're going to go in with the 0 0.8. And what, I'll show you what we're going to do on one petal. I'll give you an example. Now, this only applies to these outside um, fold over parts of the petals. So basically the outside of the flower. And basically what we're going to do is trace the inside of the petal shape, leaving a white gap around the border. So I'll show you what that looks like. And we're just going to follow the shape of the flower. Oh, sorry, the shape of the petal. Just like that. And we're going to go around and do this to the entire flower, but only to these uh, fold over parts, okay? And we're gonna go back in now and color them in solid black. For the smaller ones, I'll just go back in with a lining um, felt liner or a fine, fine liner, sorry. And color them in solid black, just like that. Making little corrections as you go. For the larger areas, you can either go in with a Sharpie uh, or something like um, your Ecoline brush pens or something like that. Okay guys, we're going to start coloring this in. So we're only going to be using two colors today. Both of them are Ecoline brush pens. We're using deep yellow. That'll be the first color we're using. And the second color will be a deep orange. Okay. You can use whatever colors you'd like to color this in. The only thing I'd recommend is if you're doing it in this style with the black on the outside of the petals, uh, I would do the inside colors a really vibrant color. 
If you do a dark color on the inside and a dark color on the outside, the whole thing looks a little bit muddy and dark. So to give it nice contrast, we're gonna do a nice bright color on the inside of the petals. And obviously we've done the outside of the petal, petals a uh, solid black color. We're gonna do that little ring in the middle, solid yellow. And we're gonna take our black brush pen and just do a little bit of shading. So we're gonna come up like this from that area. Get a little watercolor brush. And just do a little bit of shading. Okay, and I might do a little streak that runs through the middle of our lightest area. Just like that. And that's basically all we're gonna do for this little center part of the flower. We're gonna start with our orange, our darker color. And starting from the inside part of the flower, we're gonna do a layer of orange. Just like that. We're gonna use our brush pen to blend that out a little bit and then we'll come in with our yellow marker from the outside and color back in towards our orange all right we're going to go around and do the whole flower like this and uh, i'll see you guys at the end Okay guys, we're nearly there. I've finished coloring it in. Uh, I've added a little bit of black shading behind some of the petals. That's really straightforward. You just add a little bit of black in any little nook and cranny that you want, and then take your water brush and just blend it out to white. Okay, I'm just gonna go in now with a white gel pen. You could use a Posca paint marker. You could also probably get away with using a white pencil. In fact, you could use a white pencil. It just depends on the uh, make and brand of pencils. Some of them will work better than others. Uh, but I'm using a white gel pen and I'm just going to do a few highlights and correct a few mistakes. I obviously went out of the lines a little bit here with the color. So we're going to take our white gel pen and go over the top of some of those areas to clean up our white. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's something you might want to consider doing just to clean up any little mistakes that you've made. All right, one last thing, guys. I'm going to go ahead and add some highlight areas to our flower. So basically, I'm going to add a few lines on the outside of our petals. And on the inside, you can just add a few little lines of highlight wherever you want them. All right. Okay guys, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope your peony comes out good. But leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Uh, you can hit the thumbs up button, that's always good. If you wanna see my other work or check out my online portfolio, head over to Facebook at Dagger Designs. 
uh, to see any upcoming projects and to keep an eye on upcoming videos as well. And as always guys, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to make sure you stay updated every time a video comes out. Don't miss one. Alright guys, have a good day, stay safe, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.